it's the season to be thankful and I mentioned last week on the show that we should be so thankful for the rich and vibrant arts community that we are so fortunate to have down here in the Keys. Down here you will meet some of the most talented and creative artists right in your own backyard. That point will be proven this morning with my next guest. She's a mixed media artist, a chef, and even a yoga instructor. Lisa, thank you so much for being with me on the show today. Thank you for having me, Tina. Well, it's great having you here, Lisa. I have to ask how you ended up down here in the Keys. What's your story? Well, I first came down here in 95. I was invited to come down and help a friend open a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And that's how I first arrived. And um, within the first few months, I was able to add a uh, showing of artwork at the restaurant. It was pretty apparent early on that there were a lot of talented people, yeah. very talented artists on the island, and I wanted to use the restaurant as a place to not only showcase local artists, but have a, an opening once a month so that everyone could meet one another and mm -hmm. be exposed to the art and merge this beautiful combination of culinary arts and visual art. Okay. Now, were you able to show some of your work as well? I was. Good. I was, and I met another artist um, during that time, and we did a collaborative show mm -hmm. together and showed it at the restaurant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand too, Lisa, that you do a lot of traveling. You've been I do. fortunate enough to do it's traveling true. all over the world. I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And some of the photographs that our viewers can see this morning that are inserted behind us, these were photographs that were taken from some of your travels. Mm -hmm. Where was your most recent trip? Uh, most recently, I was in Bali, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And what was that trip like, Lisa? That was, I spent quite a bit of time over there teaching yoga and recording images, and it's quite an extraordinary place. Daily life is, is art. Mm -hmm. Daily life is art. From the offerings that, um, that the Balinese people and Indonesian people make and place um, in front of their homes or businesses or out on the beach or uh, everywhere. They're placed twice a day. And so there's this beautiful ceremony of life going on all the time. And, um, and that's one small part of an example of art being part of, um, of just every moment of your vision and what you hear. Mm -hmm. So I was quite inspired by that. And then, um, uh, other things that I saw, people that I met. Mm -hmm. What mediums do you use, Lisa? I use uh, currently my camera, but um, pretty typically for all the years I've worked with mixed media, which will be you know oil paints and acrylic paints, and then all Xerox photographs that I've taken and take uh, use those images for collage, and also uh, found object collage. What about the image that our viewers see behind us right now, Lisa? This is um, a piece that I did recently. I was invited to participate in the um, show that Erica Biddle put together at the studios of mm -hmm. Key West. Hidden in plain view. Exactly, mm -hmm. um, for or about the homeless in Key West. So that piece was one of the pieces. There. Mm -hmm. What was your inspiration behind that piece? Well, uh, Erica invited local artists to, to read poetry um, and entries from homeless that participated in the project. And so reading the words um, are what totally inspired me to mm -hmm. do that piece and try to do a visual interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. Now, Lisa, what would you say is your favorite part about being down here in the Keys and being surrounded by all the talent and creativity that we have here? Well, for sure, the variety of people, you know, mm -hmm. different ages who've been down here for so long or not so long or who come and go, and there's always a connection that remains. Um, and really the variety of writers, actors, um, painters, musicians, chefs, cooks, and just um, diverse community. Mm -hmm. And then the beautiful weather, of mm -hmm. course, is quite um, inspiring and comforting and uh, you know the the light down here is really quite something so mm -hmm. from the minute the sun comes up in the morning sunrise into sunset is is amazing mm -hmm. really the light and the shadows and the quality 
of air and the colors and the sea and Fort Zach. So much. Yeah. <laughs> we are blessed. Now, Lisa, what, what are you working on right now currently? I'm currently working on organizing the photos from the last few years of traveling in Thailand and Indonesia and um, working those into a few different books uh, formats and also to um, to elaborate on some of the smaller sculptural pieces that I think you have seen mm -hmm. some images of and using those as, as springboards into larger um, reinterpretations of those. Well, I look forward to seeing the finished product. For more information on Lisa, you can check out the information that you see on the bottom of the screen. Lisa, thank you so much for thank being with you me. Thank you so much. And sharing your work. Thank you, Jenna. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.